Good day everyone, my name is Nick and we're looking at, as you can see, fighting soccer on the Commodore Amiga as these animated stickmen do their skills. It was published by Activision in 1989, uh, also come out in the Anstrad CPC, the Atari ST, Commodore 64 and the ZX Spectrum. It's based on the arcade cabinet by SNK from the previous year in 1988 as we see this animation of this guy do a penalty. Will he score? He will. And the crowd go flickery. Um, it's based on Olympic football rather than anything else, so it'll be quite interesting to see how this plays. When you think about football games on the Cop Madola Amiga, you think of sensible soccer and you also fit a kickoff too. Well, don't expect any play uh, like that here. It can best be compared with MicroPro soccer, I guess. But uh, let's see how it plays. I haven't played this too many times, i.e., uh, just one practice go for doing this review. So it might take a bit of a while. So we're Great Britain and we're playing Japan. I'm not quite used to the control system yet. But, uh, oh dear, Japan has <laughs> Japan scored already. Oh. Well done, Great Britain. That took four seconds. So it's three minutes each way. Whereas well, a computer works out three minutes, it might not be. This course commentator is particularly dull. Uh, music is sort of okay. But yeah, it's no kickoff too, is it? Oh, Japan. Ugh. Come on, come on. We're 1-0 down. We're going to be 2-0 down soon. Come on, Great Britain. we got to win this. There's a... There's a whoops. There's a display uh, in the uh, the right column there showing you where the ball... <laughs> I'm 2-0 down, where the ball is on the pitch. And that's useless because that's too small to follow that thing. I haven't played this on the ZX Spectrum yet, but I guess it's only a matter of time. Right, come on. We're 2-0 down. Let's get this. No. It's all with one fire button. If you hit the fire button twice, it does a big shot. Uh, once, it does uh, a pass or a weaker shot. Uh, and also, the ball's in the air. You can do a header. Right, come on, beef man. Yes. Oh, damn. We're close enough, close enough to the goal. But I'm sensitive with this game. As soon as you work out how to score a goal, due to the simple programming, you can keep doing that over and over and um, win the day. Right, it's a bit of weaving. It's only Japan. No, um... Right, we'll get a goal now, surely. No! Ga damn it. No disrespect to Japan, but they're not the best team in the world, are they? Much like Great Britain. Go! Oh! I need to get closer or do a bigger shot here. Music playing throughout the game, as it did in the arcades. Um... Initial thoughts is, I'm not liking this. 3-0. Goal! Goal! It's, that commentator's not very excited, is he, about the proceedings? Goal! At least seem excited. Oh, he seems more excited about the kickoff than the actual goal. Right, bit of weaving. Look at this tremendous play. Must be a goal. Yes, no. I think I need to get closer. This bloke can only only shoot about four meters. No, Japan, you can't go another goal up. So there's a goal fest. This is arcade soccer rather than realistic soccer, I'd have to say. And you have to play it with that in mind. It's based on the Olympics, but I don't know if Activision had a license to do an Olympic game. 1989, perhaps you could get away with it back then. And we're 4-0 down. Goal. Goal. Uh, I'm not very good at this, am I? Hopefully we can turn this around. 4-0. Right, I will have another go at this. Only one mode, and it's the cup. Goal. See, that's how you do it. Goal. Not the most exciting goal in the world, but as I suspected, if I keep doing that, you can beat every team in the whole game. So the longevity of this is probably quite low. You'd only play it about once or twice, I think. You can do one or two players. Might get a bit of extended play with two players, but it's a bit slow moving. Sensible Soccer blasts this well away. And I think I'd even prefer uh, to play Micropro Soccer rather than this one. So 2-0. No, 4 2, I should say. But as you can see, we scored two goals in literally about 30 seconds. Now I've worked out how to do it. If the game restarted, I'd probably thrash Japan. Whoops. So it's got throw ons, got free kicks, got. I think it's got penalties. I'm not sure how one of those will be awarded. But it's called Fighting Soccer, remember? And I don't think there's any fighting going on in this. If I bought this game thinking it would be like violent soccer, I'd feel a little bit ripped off. There's no fighting going on. Wherever a mini game gets unlocked, there is no fighting. It's um trade description act this. Players running very slowly, been tackled. Fighting! SNK! 
I've seen a video of this being played in the arcade cabinet. It looks to play a little bit better, although graphics are quite similar. Near the end of the half, ticking away. And we're 4-2 we're down. Yes, is that the end of the, oh, it's the end of the whole match? There we go. Well done, Nick. You lost. We'll have another go at this. Now, the loading times on this game aren't too bad, but I will be editing them. So if you play this game yourself, it'll probably take a little bit long, longer to load between screens, so don't blame me. There's Olympic rings there. I'm sure not licensed, but I might be wrong. Let me know if they did license it. Activision, 1989. Oh, don't say my tickly throat's coming back again. That's all I need in the middle of a football game. And who's that commentator? Right, we're going to thrash you this time, Japan. We know how to score. Three minutes, go. Here we go. Good bit of passing going on, and we've lost it. Don't let Japan score. Weave around. We want the 45 degrees treatment. Get into the box. 45 degrees right in front of the keeper. He's not going to come out, and then we're there. No! Oh, no. Go. Go. Might as well be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Go. That's really, that's really getting the people watching excited. Go. Right, 1-0 down. Can't afford to go any further down. We Look at this play. Right, right in there, right in there. Thank you. 1-0. Go. So you can't expect any realism from this game. Uh, the, the goal scores are going to be huge. There'll be no nil-nils here. Uh, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. There's not much variety in the gameplay, but you could say that with Kickoff 2, I suppose. But Kickoff 2 is mad and frantic, and I love it. As I do Sensible Soccer. Slight preferences for Kickoff 2 Ooh. and Sensible Soccer, but I love them both, and I won't be dragged into an argument which one's the best, because they're both good. Although Kickoff 2 is slightly better. In my opinion, all depends on how you play. Haven't reviewed Kickoff Revival yet by Dino Dini on the PlayStation 4. It's got mixed reviews. Some people hate it, some people like it. It's been in development a little while even after the release. So uh, we might come to that at Go. some point. Go! Well, there's so many football games to choose from now in the modern ones. Actua Soccer's oh. there too. Come on lads, come on! We're 3-1 up. We can hold on to this. All the players look the same. So you can't see uh, if they're Japanese or British or or aliens. You can't not see. Oh no! Seems to be quite easy to score once the ball's there. Pitch is quite small. Yeah, I don't. I think the person who programmed this didn't really know what football was like. Um, it, the, the pitch is like the size of an indoor pitch. I don't know how many players we got on there. Is we got eleven players, or is it scaled down? Perhaps it's seven players. Don't know. You can't change your formation. Uh, you can't, you can't, there's no management feature in the game, it's just arcade play and that's it. Uh, 45 degrees, goal. Yeah, it's too easy now. So the fun of the game's gone. It was okay in the first game where I wasn't quite good at it, but just playing the second game, I've already learned how to score quite easily, uh, and, and the fun is completely and utterly gone. Uh, yeah, it's mind numbing now. What's gonna happen here? I think we all know. 45 degrees, goal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, when we beat Japan, because we will beat Japan, uh, hopefully we get a good team Come next. On. Hopefully it's one of the best teams in the game, or at least a slightly better team, and we'll see if the if it's more um, of a challenge. But no difficulty modes, it's just one difficulty and that's it, so you can't really tailor it to your gameplay. Uh, terrible defending. Oh, hit it straight at him there. I'm sure there's other ways to score goals. By hitting the fire button twice, apparently, you control the uh, the height of the ball if you're doing a long shot. I don't seem to have got the hang of that as of yet. Oh, they've got one back! Go! Go! Yeah, when was the last time you saw 6-2 as a scoreline? I would wager never. Kick off! Kick off! Right. There we go, I've gone round two of them. Oh, they've got the ball! Could it be a Japanese comeback? They're in the box! Oh, it is! 6-3! Maybe I'm getting too cocky here. Oh no! One minute, two seconds left. I'm sure I can hang on to a free goal lead. Good. All those players are gone. I'm right round the whole lot. 45 degrees. Goal. Have you seen that Ooh. before? Was that deja vu? Goal! Or, that, or as the commentator says, goal. Kick off! Right, is that Richie Cunningham from Happy Days? Let me know. If you are Richie Cunningham from Happy Days... Oh no. Oh, look at that! 
Oh. 7-4. Too busy talking about Happy Days. If you are Richie Cunningham from Happy Days, you're probably too busy making films at the moment. Then comment below. Right, 7-4. The bookies are loving this. No one's, no one's bet on it being 7-4. And if someone's put a big bet on it being 7-4, I think there needs to be an inquiry. Ooh. We're getting a few shots in Japan now. How long have we got to long to last? 34 seconds. Throw in. But even if they score again, I'm quite... <laughs> it's the worst throwing of all time. I'm confident I can get another few goals anyway. Da, 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 da. Quite a few football games on the, uh, the Commodore Amiga review now. Italia 90. A striker. As I mentioned, kickoff two, final whistle, which is also part of kickoff two, sensible soccer. I mean, there's probably a few others I've missed. But this is not fighting soccer. If you want a fighting soccer sort of game, you might as well go for a speedball two instead, which isn't really football, but it's a bit more rougher than this. 8 4, with twice as good as Japan, with 12 seconds left. I'd be very surprised if they can score five goals in, in 10 seconds now. But you never know. There's some mystic powers. Here we go. Time for a goal. Yes. 9-4. Now, if you predicted it being 9-4, well done you. Da, da, da. What do you think of this game? Did you have it? Did you think more highly of it than me? I mean, it looks quite pretty. Uh, it looks a little bit like the arcade game. Except the arcade came better from what I've seen. It's just the gameplay once you get used to Oh, Brazil, right. It's just the gameplay once you get used to it. It's just far too easy. Right, we're playing Brazil. I presume they're the best team in the tournament. So we'll now see if the gameplay is too easy or Japan are just a low team in this. Brazil not in their classic yellow. I don't like that. They're in white. Why couldn't we have Brazil in yellow? Pitches a different colour, which is a nice touch. So different types of pitches. Yeah, it's too easy again. Seven oh. seconds I scored a goal against Brazil. Yeah. Right, so slide tackles, passing. Oh. Um, that's about it, really. Um, I'm glad they put music in it, because without the music it might have been a little bit duller. Um, 1989 this, so late 80s, so uh, it, it won't go down as a classic, I don't think. If it had come out in 1984 looking like this, I might have thought a bit better of it. But uh, no, nah, it's, it's not Ooh. happening. Goal. Not a hideous game, but I wouldn't want to pay full price for it back in the day. You've got to imagine as well, it's up against all similar uh, games of football and you, there's no real reason to choose this if you've got a better option. Funny if you're drunk. The you know, goalkeeper can't come out to collect that for some reason. 2-0. Can we hang on to beat Brazil? I think we probably can. So, you'll probably win the World Cup every time with this. Not World Cup, the Olympics. Unless you artificially try and make it more difficult, do slide tackles and stuff, but the defence are nowhere. Boom. He was offside. No offsides in this, but, you know, I can't have that, hold that against the game because a lot of them, well, all of them really didn't have offside. Apart from kickoff two in the later days with the final whistle expansion pack, that gave you a linesman. So it's no, it's no, it's no FIFA. Yeah. 45 degrees. Oh, I was too far away then. Duh, 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 duh. I think the most fun of this game is just with one player just controlling one football player on the pitch trying to weave round everyone. Are they going to score? Oh, goalkeeper jumped completely oh. out the way. 3-1! Who was that? Was it Fat Ronaldo? Could have been. Football. Kick off! Or was it Dunga? Cow Dunga. Right? <laughs> Dummied three players out the way. That's ridiculous! The computer AI is... That's shocking. Computer AI was terrible there. Thank goodness they saved it. Yeah, this is not the best team in the world. Oh man, 4-1. Oh. One. one minute and a half to go. It can't come quick enough. Did, 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 did. Yeah. Diddly, diddly, diddly. Music is getting a bit repetitive now, although I said it was nice to have it. Good save, whoever that was in goal. No player names coming up. Uh, no formations, as I mentioned there. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's low intelligence game. Just keep weaving left and right and you can't tackle me. Boof. 5-1. I think we've got this, you know. So I'm quite confident I could keep playing for a while and just win the whole thing, but I, I don't think you've got the patience to stay with the game that long, to be fair. It's bad enough if you're just playing it. I'd be interested to see what this looks like on the ZX Spectrum, you know. Uh, might be able to be a bit more lenient on that one. 
but who knows? It might, it might, be, it might be bad. It depends what the scrolling's like, really, and if there's any colour clash. Forty-five. Oh, that's the last thing the goalkeeper was expecting. Mm. He wasn't expecting me to do a forty-five degree shot, not like the other five times. Six-one. It's a thrashing. Right, what we got? Forty-seven seconds left. Are they going to score here? Yeah. No. They tried to do the forty-five degree treatment. Right, we're off. We're clean through. There's no defence. Thanks. Seven-one. Mm. Seven-one. Where's the challenge here? It's like heavyweight boxing, uh, Klitschko versus um, Warwick Davis, uh, who played Wicket, uh, the Ewok in Return of the Jedi. So it's a mismatch. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. If I ever get MAME set up, it'd be interesting to play this on, on the, that, which recreates arcade games if the ROM's available. I, I don't, I'm not sure what the illegality is of those, but anyway. Let's go through. Yes! Oh, why didn't the keeper come out for that? 8-1! This is Brazil's worst ever performance after that, that Germany one in the World Cup where they got thrashed. But they didn't get thrashed 8-1 by Great Britain. Of course, um, Great Britain, you'd only ever see them in the Olympics. In the World Cup, it's England, Wales and Scotland and Ireland. We're a bit of Ireland anyway. Goal! I think he's getting bored now. 10 goals! 9 of them from Great Britain. Kick off, hooray! Game over. Thank goodness for that. So it's just one big block, three minutes, and Germany were next, but we're not going to play that. Whoever wins that plays France in the final, but yeah. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that game. We'll hold on for a second, because I think there might be an amazing show. Fight, fight! So you expect a massive fight to happen, and here comes the fight. You are having a laugh. Who are those five chicks? Um, never have you seen a more weird half-time display than uh, from the Mega Game Double Dribble. What are they doing? They're hovering, they're doing stuff. Fight, fight. Well, this makes me want to fight. Um, well done. Get away. Here, yeah, what's she up to? Flashed her pom-poms at me. Well, anyway, I hope you liked having a look at that game with no fighting in it whatsoever. It's Fighting Soccer on the Commodore Amiga, published by Activision in 1989 and based on the arcade cabinet by SNK in 1988. Thanks for watching that one as always. If you've got any comments about this game or football games in general, then put them below. Until next time, a very fond, take care of yourself and goodbye. Goodbye.